Meg here from I Teach Stamping and welcome to the Friday Flip. So the Friday Flip is where we take one project idea and we flip it into something completely different. Let me show you what I'm talking about. We're going to start with this card right here. I love this card. It's been sitting on my shelf for many, many years. We're going to keep a lot of the same elements but change it up. And we're going to take it from a thanks card. We're actually going to make it into a sympathy card. So let's go ahead and start with our stamping. I'm going to start with a piece of Whisper White cardstock. I'm going to be using the Butterfly Basic stamp set. And I'm going to start by stamping with some pear pizzazz ink onto this Whisper White. So I'm going to stamp this. I don't care about the bottom part of it being on the white cardstock, but I definitely want the top being on there. That's going to give me that. And then let's go ahead and switch over to our Wisteria Wonder. So I'm going to take the little stamp also from that same stamp set, and I'm just going to cover this piece in a random pattern, or as random as I can get. Cover that little piece. Now let's go ahead and dress this up. So I'm going to be using the Thoughts and Prayers stamp set, and I want the Sharing in Your Sorrow to go across the top there. And I'm going to use my stamp magic so I get perfect placement with it. I'm going to ink this up in Wisteria Wonder. I'm going to stamp it. And I'm not going to move my stamp and jig. See how light that is? I'm going to go back over it, ink it up, go back over it, and see I'm hitting that exact spot every time. And now look at how dark that is. So I've taken it from just being regular Wisteria Wonder to a very rich Wisteria Wonder. Okay, now the next thing that I need to stamp is going to be on a piece of Whisper White that's going to be four inches by five and a quarter inches. I'm going to bring back in the pear pizzazz. And I'm just going to stamp these leaves across the bottom. There we go. And then I'm going to go back with that little purple stamp in that Wisteria Wonder. There we go. That's all there is to that. Okay, we are all done with our stamping and we're going to do this card a little bit different. Normally I would do all the stamping and then all the die cutting and then all the assembly. But part of this I want to have time to dry. So we're going to do a little assembly now and then we'll come back and do our big shot work. So I'm going to remove the stamps out of the way. And I'm going to bring in a piece of soft suede and I'm putting the measurement up on the screen right now. Which means I forgot what it is off the top of my head. Okay, so we have that. Now I'm going to take this and I'm going to layer this on like so. I'm going to take the purple piece and put it towards the bottom. So I cut these to be the same width, but now I want something that's going to break up that divider line right there. So I'm going to take some linen thread and I've got adhesive on the back. I'm just going to wrap this around a couple times, letting it get nice and thick and then grab my scissors and get that nice and stuck down. Okay, so we have that, and then ahead of time I tied a bow using the 10 second bow maker and more of this linen thread. I'm just gonna put a little dot of glue there. You can get these teeny tiny perfect bows when you use that tool. I love the 10 second bow maker. Want that to sit right there, and I'm gonna move it to the side and my white shifted a bit, there we go. I'm going to let this get nice, happy, and dry. So while that's doing that, let's go ahead and bring in the Big Shot and take care of what we need to there. I'm going to use the multi-purpose platform to begin. Now I've got it flipped over and I'm going to use the butterfly thinlets and a piece of wax paper in between. So when you use the wax paper in between, getting the pieces, because this one has all these little intricate cuts, getting the little trash pieces out is so much easier. So I'm just going to run that through and then pop out my butterfly. And then there's a couple different tools I like to use. When I'm feeling especially daring, I use my paper piercer. When I'm worried that I'm going to pierce myself to death and be covered in cuts, then I use something that's like this. So this is just like a little kitchen skewer. Or you can also use a toothpick if you want. And if you want your kids to use it, and you want to do the die cutting and let them do this part, then just dull the edges, you know, so it's not such a fine tip. But 
trust me, if you have ever used one of these intricate cut dies and not had wax paper, then you're probably amazed at how easily these are all popping out right now. So I love the wax paper trick. Now I normally, if I was using my paper piercer, would not go that fast because for sure my butterfly would be covered in blood. All right, so we're gonna take this, finish getting rid of all of these little pieces. And then you need to figure out where your wax paper is because sometimes it'll stick to your cardstock and sometimes it'll stick to your die. And don't worry about which side is up on your wax paper. There's normally a waxier side. I don't know if it technically has a name. Don't worry about that. Just either way you want to use it is fine. Okay, so that's how easy it was to take that butterfly apart. Now, I could see my wax paper on here. So I know it's here, but just make sure it's not still stuck to your cardstock. All right, so now I'm gonna take, make a mess over here on the side. We're gonna move my platform over to where I can do some dry embossing. And we're gonna take another piece of Whisper White that's four and a quarter by five and a half, and I'm gonna use the honeycomb embossing folder. Make my little sandwich. Trying not to throw my Big Shot off the counter or like launch it off. And if you could see the whole space I was working in, you'd understand what I mean right now. All right, so we've got this and one of the many reasons I love the Big Shot, first off, there's no plug. I don't have to program anything, but I can do die cutting like I did with the butterfly and dry embossing all at the same machine. So look at that fab texture. Awesome. Okay, we are done with the Big Shot and now we are ready to just do all of our final assembly. So let's start with our card base. I'm going to use So Saffron cardstock, and it's going to be four and a quarter by 11 inches scored at five and a half. I'm gonna take this pretty piece that we stamped right here and drop that into the inside of our card. Next, I'm gonna take this guy with that fab texture, put it on the front of the card, and now we're ready for this piece right here. So it's gonna go on the right-hand side just kind of eyeballing it to center it from top to bottom and leaving about a quarter of an inch of white on the right hand side. Then I'm ready for this guy and he is going to go on with a glue dot. Kind of make him fly a little bit and then pay attention to where your words are and that'll help you place your butterfly. And just like that, we've got a beautiful, elegant, sympathy card and remember let's bring in our inspiration piece this is how it started so we kept the shape of it we kept the flower and just changed it into a butterfly we kept still having a divider but just turned it into a ribbon and then this card has an inside and the other one doesn't and so there we have this week's friday flip if you like this week's Friday Flip, please be sure to like it below and also be sure to share it with your friends. Then head on over to iteachsnaping.com and make sure that you're signed up for my email list so that you don't miss a single project idea that I only share in there. Again, I'm Meg from iteachsnaping. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.